Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a senior security architect at Microsoft, and I want to show you this awesome capability called Threat and Vulnerability Management in Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. All right, here we are inside the Microsoft Defender Security Center at securitycenter.microsoft.com. And on the left side, we're going to click on Threat and Vulnerability Management and then choose Dashboard. And this is our TVM console. Now, I can see a score for the configuration of my devices. And I'm at a 402 out of 886, meaning if I had all the controls enabled, I would be at an 886. Now, that's actually leaving me exposed. I'm about 60% exposure here, meaning I am at risk. Now, if I scroll down, I can see top events here that are happening in the environment. And you can see we discovered some new vulnerabilities on some machines with some software. So I could see the actual vulnerable software that's installed in these endpoints. So let's just click on show more and look at the vulnerable software. So Defender ATP is going out and performing an inventory of all the software installed on my endpoints. And here you can see this software is listed and ranked by weaknesses. So that tells me that this specific piece of software is probably out of date and has some vulnerabilities in it. And if I open up the software page, it will tell me more about that piece of software installed in these endpoints and the recommendations on what Microsoft recommends to do with it, such as update it and disable some features. I can see which of those vulnerabilities by CVE, which is kind of cool as well. And I can even see what devices those vulnerabilities, those vulnerabilities and software is on. And of course, here's the version of that piece of software. Now, if we go back to our TVM page <clears throat> and uh, go back one more page here, you saw the software inventory, but on the main TVM page, under top vulnerable software, I can also see top exposed machines. So if I click on show more, I can see the machines in the environment, they're at the most risk. And here I can see Roberto's machine is probably at the most risk here. So if I click on it, I can see immediately a little dashboard here for his machine, who's logged in on his machine, what alerts are happening on his machine, his exposure level, so on and so forth. And so here's all the different alerts that are actually happening on that machine right now. A timeline of events. Remember, Defender ATP is catching a whole slew of different telemetry here, and I can see what's happening on that endpoint. I see recommendations that Microsoft has on how to best mitigate the risk on that endpoint. What software is installed on Roberto's machine, any vulnerabilities that we found on that machine by CVE, and I could see that with any related software, and if there's any missing KBs as well. <clears throat> and thank goodness there is not on his machine, but he is still at risk. So if we go back to our TVM dashboard, the last thing I want to show you here is down at the bottom, you will see on the right side, top security recommendations. And if I click on show more, there's going to be about 103 recommendations from Microsoft on how to uh, best mitigate that risk in my environment. So these are going to be recommendations like, hey, update your stuff, but also go through and do some configuration, turn on potentially unwanted applications protection on Windows Defender, uh, go ahead and enable uh, LSA protection, block Win32 API calls, enable some attack surface reduction rules, go out and turn on network protection, uh, encrypt the drives with BitLocker, a lot of great stuff here. Again, these are all recommendations from Microsoft. And as I complete these, Back on my TVM dashboard, my exposure will go down and my score will go up, which, uh, which is always a good thing, right? And then as I start to complete those recommendations, the vulnerable software will start to uh, disappear off this list because things are getting updated. These machines will uh, start to report back healthy and I'll start to get into a much better state. So folks, this is threat and vulnerability management. This is pretty awesome. Again, it's just a feature that comes with Defender ATP. So go out there, check it out. If you have any questions, hit me up on LinkedIn uh, and let me know. Put in some comments down in the comments below, also with some feedback. And uh, we'll go deeper into this in the next video series here on Defender ATP. I hope you found value in this video. I enjoy making them. Uh, so please stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care and have fun with Defender ATP.